Hello class 9. Today in this video we will go through the multiple choice questions of chapter 3 uh, coordinate geometry exercise 3.2 here. Uh, the first question is while writing the coordinates of a point which coordinates comes first? Which coordinate comes first? And the first option is x coordinate the second option is y coordinate and the third option is sometimes x and sometimes y coordinates and the third uh, last option is none of this so here the answer is simple it's x coordinates as a rule when we write the coordinates of a point we should write the x coordinate first and then y coordinates the next question that is question number two here the two points which lie on the y axis and which are at equal distances from the origin are uh, now here uh, these two points lies on the y axis now on the y axis on y axis on y axis on y axis x coordinate is 0 x coordinate is x coordinate is uh, equal to 0 and on x axis on x axis y coordinate is 0 y coordinate is okay this is very uh, important point that you have to remember now I will show you how it is now if you take a point here let's say this is 1 2 1 2 3 now if you take a point here now this point is on the y-axis so it is neither uh, neither on the right -hand side nor on the left side it is on the uh, zero line of uh, this x-axis so here now, so any points on the y-axis, it may be here, 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 x-coordinate is 0. So since the points lies on the, since the points lie on the y-axis, x-coordinate should be 0. Now here, in the first option, x-coordinate is not 0, so this cannot be our answer. And in the second option, we have here x-coordinate 0, but this one is not 0, so this is also uh, cannot be our answer and in the third option here this is not zero this is not zero x ordinate uh, x coordinate is not zero here so this cannot be our this also cannot be our answer now here in the last option we have here so this must be our right answer so here this is uh, zero x coordinate is zero here also x coordinate is zero and zero three why is three units to the right uh, to, uh, above the origin and minus three is uh, three units below the origin so which is like this now here x is zero y is one two three here x is zero y is three and uh, x the another point is x is zero y minus three x is zero y is minus three one two three so here this is 0 minus 3 now these two points are at uh, at equal distance from the origin from this point so this is 1 2 3 unit above the origin and 3 unit 1 2 3 3 unit below the origin so they are at equal distance from the origin and they are on the y axis so the correct option uh, so our answer is uh, this fourth option that is d now let's see the next question the coordinates of a point are x y x comma y and it lies in the third quadrant which of the following is true now let's recall the sign of the four of the four quadrant now this is called first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant this is fourth quadrant now in the first quadrant x is plus y also plus so this is plus plus 
and in the second quadrant x is to the left side of this origin so this is minus and uh, y axis here upside above the origin so this is plus and on the uh, in the third quadrant we have here x left side so minus and y is below the origin that is downward downside so so this is minus so in the third quadrant the sign is minus minus and in the fourth quadrant it is x is to the right of origin so this is plus and y is to the uh, uh, below the origin so this is minus now when when a number is plus it means that number is greater than zero so here x is plus y also plus so that means x is greater than zero y is also greater than zero now here in the second quadrant x is minus which means it's less than zero so x is less than zero y is plus here y is greater than zero and in the third quadrant we have x minus here that means x is less than zero y also minus here so y is also less than zero and in the fourth quadrant we have x is plus which means x is greater than zero and y is minus y less than zero now let's see in which quadrant the point lie here the coordinates of a point are this and it lies in the third quadrant so it's it lies in the third quadrant so in the third quadrant x is x coordinate is minus y coordinate also minus so we have x less than zero y less than zero so our right answer should be x less than zero y less than zero so this is uh, c is the right answer now let's see the fourth one the two quadrants where the value of abscissa are negative are the two quadrants where the value of abscissa abscissa is x coordinate x coordinate so the two quadrants where the value of abscissa are negative are so here here abscissa is negative here x is negative here and again here x coordinate abscissa is negative here so it is second quadrant it is second quadrant and third quadrant so it is second quadrant and third quadrant so second quadrant and third quadrant so b is our right answer now question number five the distance of the point four six from the y-axis okay this is x coordinate this is y coordinates now now this one you can answer only if you know what exactly is x coordinate and what exactly is y coordinates now let's see what exactly is x coordinate and what exactly is y coordinates now, now we have uh, coordinate axis here now let's take a point here let's suppose that this is one two three and this is one two now this point the distance of this point that is the perpendicular distance of this point from y axis this is y this is y y dash x dash x now this is zero now the perpendicular distance of this point from y axis is this one this is the perpendicular distance of uh, this point from the y-axis now if if we have to find out how far this point is from the y-axis then we have to count the unit from here from here one two three so one two three see this is this is three units from the y-axis one two three so so three units from the y-axis so that is what we call the x-coordinate so the x-coordinate is nothing but the perpendicular distance from the y-axis x-coordinate is perpendicular distance from the y-axis so x-coordinate is perpendicular perpendicular distance from the y-axis from y-axis and now if we have to find the perpendicular distance of this point from the x-axis then we have to measure the length from this x-axis here perpendicular distance so how do we measure is we will count one two so two units so this point is two units from this x-axis so one two so we write here two 
so that is y coordinates so y coordinate is nothing but the perpendicular distance from the x axis y coordinate is y coordinate is perpendicular distance distance from x axis so now in this question uh, the distance of the point from the y axis is 4 so from the y axis how far is it from the y axis we call that x coordinate so x coordinate is 4 here so the answer is 4 units this is our answer now we will go to the next exercise exercise 3.3 question number one here which of the following points lie on the y axis so as i have explained on the y axis the x coordinate is zero on the y axis the x coordinate is zero so here in the first option the x coordinate is zero here so this must be our answer here the x coordinate is not zero so it cannot be on the y axis x coordinate is not zero it cannot be on the y axis x coordinate is not zero it cannot be on the y axis now the second question is the point minus seven zero lies on the positive x axis the negative x axis the positive y axis negative y axis now here this x coordinate is negative here x coordinate is negative which means it lies uh, on the negative x axis so this is negative minus 7 so it should be on the negative x axis so this is the right answer b now number 3 if x coordinate of a point is 0 then it always lies on so this is similar to the uh, first question so if x coordinate of a point is 0 then it lies on the y axis so don't forget that if x coordinate is if x coordinate of a point is 0 it lies on the y axis and if the y coordinate is 0 then it lies on the x axis so here the answer is uh, y axis now the perpendicular bisector of a line segment ab pass through the origin if the coordinates of a are 4 0 then the coordinates of p are we have a line here ab and the perpendicular bisector of this line perpendicular bisector is nothing but the perpendicular lines which divides the given line into two equal parts so let's say this is the midpoint now if i throw a line like this 90 degree then this line has cut our line our given line here into two equal parts so this part and this part so this is called perpendicular bisector now this perpendicular bisector passes through the origin so this is o origin if the coordinates of a is 4 0 so 4 0 plus is on the right side so here a should be here 4 0 and b must be this one then the coordinates of b are so we have to find the coordinates of this here it is 4 0 which means this is 4 units 1 2 3 4 now since this is 4 units and since this is a perpendicular bisector therefore this must be also 4 units 1 2 3 4 now since this is to the left of this origin now this must be minus so the coordinate should be minus 4 and 0 because 0 here because this point lies on the x-axis so the coordinates of p must be minus 4 0 so minus 4 0 minus 4 0 here the first one is the right answer now let's see the fifth one if p minus 1 1 q 3 comma minus 4 r 1 comma minus 1 s minus 2 minus comma minus 3 and t minus 4 comma 4 are plotted on the graph paper then the points in the fourth quadrants are so here we know the sign of the fourth quadrant the sign of the fourth quadrant is plus minus so without drawing the graph we can find out without drawing the graph we can find out which which points will be on the fourth quadrant so on the fourth quadrant we have here plus minus so x coordinate is plus and y coordinate is minus so here plus minus so this q here this is plus 3 and minus 4 so this is plus minus and then 
r this is plus minus so so it is uh, q and r this is minus this is minus this is minus so this is the answer that is q and r so q and r so b is the right answer